Gobble Gobble. Want to know which four and seven squads can make the playoffs? Which of our draft picks are we the most thankful for? Keep watching Week 12 of the ESF Commission's Corner. You want to know why I'm going to lose to Nate? Tune in soon, you'll find out. I'm seven and four and poised to win the league, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> find out which of the four managers in this video is going to have a team that makes the playoffs. Here's a hint. It's Dave. All this and more, Week 12, Commission Corner, now! Woo! Whenever you get... Hike! <laughs> Hike! First matchup, we have Queen Black Acid against Product of Baby Effing. I think the product's going to continue as number one and defeat me. What do you think, Rory? Product, even though you got an early lead, I'm liking uh, Queen Black Acid in this one. I think he's got more big hitters to go in the Sunday games, and he's not giving himself enough credit. Queen Black Acid. Why did you throw the ball? I bet that was what you won. I'm going with Queen Black Acid. I can't tell you why. That's just what I wrote down. That's what you want. Our late leader, product of baby effing, is definitely outclassed at quarterback with Sanchez against Peyton Manning. But I think the combo of Peterson and Foster is going to be too much for the Queen. Not Second sure. down, we have Reggie Wayne Gacy against Plus One Mace. I think Plus One Mace is going to move up a little bit in the standings in this one and slightly edge Reggie Wayne. How about you, Rory? Plus One, even though I'm leading you by point two, you got two of the top five running backs in the league, and Des Bryant put up in the goose egg. I have no chance. Plus one all the way. I'm done. Playoff aspirations sunk. For this matchup, I'm gonna give the win to plus one Mace. Even though uh, Reggie Wayne had an explosive performance from Ben Jarvis. <laughs> Although Reggie Wayne Gacy has had a big, strong start from a man, BJGE, I think plus one Mace's uh, stable of running backs is just too strong. He's had a great season for being in the terrible position he is. I think plus one Mace is going to have a lawful good weekend and have the win. Next matchup, we have Bone Dragon against Polar Bears Toenails. Number 10 versus number <laughs> 3. Next matchup, we have Polar Bears Toenails against our very own Bone Dragon. Fucker! <laughs> Boon Dragon, Boon Dragon, 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 Boon Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. Next matchup, we have Boon Dragon against Polar Bears Toenails. And thinking that Polar Bears Toenails is going to slightly edge this one out, consensus? I think so. The next matchup between Boon Dragon and Polar Bears Toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it together! <laughs> I believe that Bone Dragon is gonna win because he hit the Lance Moore lottery and actually got some points out of him. Reggie Bush had a negative number in, in the same game, so I'm like, Bone Dragon <laughs> to win for the week. Let me give you the recipe oh, for success. Yeah, Tom yeah. Brady. Okay, fuck off. Sure. Let me give you the recipe for success. Tom Brady, quarterback. Fucking shit, I can't remember what I'm saying. Here's the recipe for success. Tom Brady, Mario Manningham, and Lance Moore. You can't go wrong with a Saints receiver when Drew Brees is just airing it out every weekend. Well, this looks like a pretty even matchup on paper. Since it's already Friday and we've seen the Thanksgiving Day games, I'm going to give the, the edge to Bone Dragon here, getting a huge performance out of Tom Brady. And unfortunately, Polar Bears Tony has got negative points from Reggie Bush. Next up, we have City Game Sport Team against Battle Beast. It's a tight matchup. Both of them are trying to get in the playoffs, but I'm giving it the City Name. <laughs> city Name, I think you're going to win this week. Battle Beast's running backs have really tough matchups, and he doesn't really have anyone to replace him for Hakeem Nix. City Name Sport Team. <laughs> My money's on City Name. A lot of players are up in the air, but we'll see how the chips fall. Not too optimistic because I had some weak performances on Thanksgiving Day, but Brand's team is looking just about as battered as mine. I think I can just inch it out, although I'm most worried about the Cleveland defense playing against Carolina. That's just free fantasy points. 
NBA experts also play fantasy football. <laughs> Next we have a matchup of six and five teams. Thaddeus Lewis against Irish Navy Five. Giving it to Thaddeus Lewis in a matchup of NBA experts who also happen to play fantasy football. Thaddeus, I think you got this one easy. You already got a nice little lead after the Thanksgiving Day games, and I just don't think the Irish Navy has the players to stack up to uh, your roster. I've got to go with Thaddeus. He's got some early points from Miles Austin. That's not going to hurt you. Ten solid points from the New Orleans defense. Can't hurt to have a solid defense every weekend. I'm really looking at Thaddeus Lewis in this one. He seems to have the stronger team. Key to team has been getting beat up throughout the season. And barring a miracle week from Ray Rice or D-Mac, I think this one is pretty much settled. Thaddeus Lewis. it is. Ba bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum 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 Matchup of the week. It's King Lewis the Fat against... <laughs> oh, that was going so well. Damn, I didn't know you were going to... Let me try it without idea. camera first. Well, if it's good, then we have to keep it. Ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum ba It's my job of the week. Number four, King Lewis the Fat. Versus number two, LG Sponge Filter Blunt. ba da bum 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 Yes! And now in this one, I think the LG's punch flavored blunt on a five game winning streak is going to advance that to six. He's going to pull this one off. You're the sleeper for uh, fantasy. Oh, what is it? Fantasy football. Yeah, yeah you're the sleeper. Sleeper. <laughs> Okay. Great job. One, Great job. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> This is where I play the dapping song over it. One more time. Okay, ready? Go. LG, I like you this week. You're not starting Donald Brown at running back, so I think that bodes in your favor, and I think you're the sleeper for the champion of our league. King Lewis, I'm looking at your team this weekend, and you've got a nice early start from Jason Witten. That's not going to hurt. All right, in this matchup between LeGarrette's Punch Flavor Blunt and King Lewis the Fat, I got to be looking at LG. Uh, Lewis, your team's been, I think, getting a little lucky rather than good. And on top of having Michael Vick going against the Bears this week, Mitch has probably the best receiving core in the league between Andre Johnson, Brandon Lloyd, and Mike Wallace. I really like Mitch in this one. Touchdown! DSF Commission's Corner. Week 13, next week, chicken and football is good. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was awesome. I, I think we're going to have a, a tight matchup this week between my... Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Hey, down in front. We're trying to, we're trying to film some hey, shit. Fuck off. Hey.